What will we find in today's Thursday thrillers here on the Mutual Audio Network? A few baffling mysteries? Perhaps a touch of murder? Let's find out. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. The Hawk Chronicles follow the adventures of Detective Kate Hawk, who went from a Baltimore police detective to intergalactic investigator, from fighting crime on the streets to crime in the stars. In the last episode of The Hawk Chronicles. What makes Agent Todd think that this might be our van? This logo on the van that tripped the trail cam is the same as the one on the surveillance photo. I'll start my training soon at Quantico. Quantico? No, they're not making you a Fed, are they? No, not like you. It's just to familiarize me with federal policies and how things work. What? So, which one of these ships is on? Doc 52. Captain Fielder? Please, Tam is fine. Now, do you have payment? Yes. A thousand units now, and the rest upon arriving at our destination. Rick Rogers? <laughs> Nate, we have you on video link. To what do we owe the pleasure? Yeah, if you want to know the truth, not much pleasure on this end. The controllers tasked me with attaching to the space station and awaiting instruction. Detective Lowe, do you have something, Soren? We might. I'm pretty sure I just saw a suspect motorcycle. Uh-oh. I'm guessing the guy that just walked out wearing leathers is the owner. What do you think you're doing? Back off, now. And now, episode 118, Indian Trouble. I said back off from the bike. Terribly sorry. One doesn't see such a beautiful vintage Indian these days. Huh? You're familiar with this model? I'd say we have the same pedigree when it comes to bikes. Personally, I ride a Royal Enfield Interceptor with 750cc parallel twin engine, also from the 60s. They were part of Indian, then? Yes, as were at least eight other companies. Enfield went on to be part of BSA, I believe. The Enfield covers a history of three centuries in motorcycles. Tell me, how do you keep up with the replacement parts here in South Africa? I have enough trouble in London. There are a few places I can order from, but I'm not really from this area either. Listen, I'd love to chat bikes with you, but I need to hit the road. Well, thank you, sir. It was a pleasure to meet a fellow enthusiast. Safe travels. Yeah. You too. That was close. Yeah? What did you tell him? We just chatted about old bikes. You actually know something about old bikes. My dear fellow, when I take on a mission, I prepare myself for all contingencies. I knew a vintage motorcycle was in play, so I simply read up the history. That's nice, but uh, did you get any pictures? I'm sending them to Detective Lowe as we speak. Now, do you have that app I sent you installed? You put a tracker on his bike. I'm impressed. Hold on. Ah, yes, there he is. Outstanding work. If it were me, it would have been a bomb instead. That would take care of him. That and any chance we would have to find the ringleader. So you don't think that guy could have been Dimitri? Oh, definitely not. What's the range on your bug? It's a miniature GPS. As long as both of us can receive a satellite signal, we can follow him. Oh, it's Mary already. Uh, Sudden? We just got Agent Simon's photos. That is definitely the bike we are looking for. So what happened? Yeah, I'll let Agent Simon brief you. Did you also receive the tracking app? It just installed. What am I looking for? Type in the username and password I gave you and select current map. Okay. Well, what do we have here? Before he came out, I was able to attach a GPS tracking device under his fender. You should see a small vehicle icon with a route in yellow. That represents his route taken. Excellent work, Agent Simon. What's the life expectancy on this device? For constant use, about seven days. 
When his bike is parked, the device will go into a sleep mode and lengthen the battery life. That should be plenty of time for us to track his movements. Hopefully he will lead us to Dimitri or at least one of his accomplices. Do you want us to tell him? No, you need to get Agent Simon to the hotel. We'll keep an eye on him. We can all get a fresh start in the morning. Sounds like a plan. Not bad for a day's work. Work? What work? We didn't assassinate a single person today. Docking lock bolts engaged. Positive pressure. Stand by for hatch opening. Mercury is standing by. BSS hatch open. Pressure check good on this side. Mercury gangway hatch opening. Sir, all systems are nominal. Roger that. Tap into their power supply and shut ours down. If we're going to be here a while, they can pay the electric bill. Copy that. Are you going to board now? Might as well. Once you shut down, join us. Will do, sir. BSS Captain is boarding. Welcome aboard the Boulder Bar Station. Like I said, wish I could say happy to be here. Vlad, good to see you again. Likewise, comrade. Did they give you any idea how long you would be attached to the station? I think they're waiting to see if there's any trouble between Wi-Fi and Lister. If you're worried about rations, Tika can take you to her commissary. I'm sure you'll find enough to restock your pantry. I'm not sure I can bring contraband food on board an IDF facility. Not to worry. Everything on board was legally purchased from the S4 warehouse. Uh, legally? Purchased? You mean you're legit for a change? Hey, I was always legit. Rogers, on the other hand, was... Well, let's just say Lost Items had a way of finding his way into our cargo bay. Will Tika be joining us? Right behind you. Gentlemen, good to see all of you. Where before, you two. Officer Tika, welcome aboard. I will begin a systems check of your ship. Very well. Mainframe Diagnostics password is November Charlie Charlie 74 656. Mainframe access. Diagnostics initiating. Thank you, Officer Tika. Certainly. Welcome aboard. I'm not sure if we can offer you anything more than what you have on the Mercury. Engaging and interesting conversation is plenty for me. Wait, I'm not fascinating and engaging? If you want to sit around all day and talk old Earth movies... Don't worry, Nate. I love to talk old movies with you. I am well versed in many subjects. One being, your scan is complete and everything is nominal. Very well, thank you, Robo 4. Do you have any new intel on the RAID situation? Only that we're to stand by. If something moves on this... The controller will be sending a marine attachment in bat. You might as well have one permanently attached to you. Hey, don't give the IDF any ideas. Vlad, got anything new? Have you seen the one about the band of space heroes saving the universe? One of them is a tree. Really? A tree? Earthriders are out of ideas already? It's not bad, really. Commander, if you'll excuse me, Vlad and I will be monitoring some Earth propaganda. Not a problem. Vlad is off shift anyway. Oh, do you have everything you need? Yes. We've just had a major upgrade. I think I'll go back and check some of these refits. I would be glad to assist you. We can perform some system functions. I will be able to analyze and give feedback. Thank you, Robo4. I will go back to the cockpit and we can start on hyperdrive pooling system. Commander Sims, thank you for your hospitality. Perhaps we can all regroup for dinner. Sounds like a plan. morning. Agent Todd, what's new? Got a few things for you this morning. Glad you could stop in before going to work. Kind of looks like I'm at work now. What did you find out? As suspected, the plates are stolen. They were reported as such three days ago. Well, whose are they? They came from a carpet cleaning business in Westminster. I see. I guess it wouldn't have been too smart to put the carpet company's logo on the van, since they're way up in Westminster. I take it the company on the van is fake? As a $3 bill. The phone number on the side will take you to an automated weather forecast. We're still searching for the stolen vans. In St. Louis, they purchased the used van with cash. I can canvas the city and see if any vans matching their description have been sold within the last week. I'll get on the sales around the city and the state if I have to. We can maybe start in Westminster. Definitely. 
I'd be interested to find out why they were up there. I'm guessing one of the suspects is from that area. Stefan is from Lancaster, Pennsylvania area. Maybe he picked up his partner as he headed south to Baltimore. A German from Lancaster? You don't think he's Amish, do you? If he is, he's been shunned. I don't know any Amish that would ride around in a van plotting a bombing. Hey, you can never tell. I haven't put out a bolo on the van. We need to apprehend these guys before the locals. Do you have any IDF field assets out there looking for them? I could use more. Jim Barnes and Horace Hawk are at the alternate Mayo Clinic now with Kate. How's she doing? The last word I got was that she came through the surgery just fine. They're going to start procedures to rapidly reduce her facial swelling and get back on this side as soon as possible. Hopefully, we'll have our two suspects in custody before that. We shut down the real step for emergency use only. Two more sets of eyes would be good. We might be able to get her sister Kelly onto this too. I gotta tell you, that whole Minnesota wild goose chase was classic. I'm glad I wasn't in on that. Somebody in the agency had to eat some humble pie. You know, I'm wondering if they'll come back in that van. Why do you say that? A van with hot plates. They know we're looking for them. You can't dodge every traffic and security cam in the area. I'm thinking they may change vehicles or something. Agreed. They could easily skin the van with another company logo. That's true. The van used in the sniper shooting of Barnes was skinned as a power utility truck. Whatever they disguise themselves as, they have to come past my trail cams and your security. We'll get them. I'm going to supervise the next shift change. I'll text you if anything happens. Thanks. Richard? You in the office yet? Yeah, I'm just pulling into the parking lot. What do you have? As suspected, the plates were stolen from the carpet company in Westminster. The logo is of a fictitious company and a bogus phone number. Do you have any info on the company in Westminster? Todd's task force will be paying them a visit to see if there were any cameras at that shop or in the surrounding area. We're both guessing that, like in St. Louis, they paid cash for an old used van. And they could have purchased that anywhere, since they would have received the templates with the van. I'm guessing Von Longer got the van in Lancaster, drove it to Westminster to pick up his partner, swapped out plates and came to Baltimore. So do you think Lancaster is a better place to start than Westminster? I do. Do you have any IDF assets in Philly we can use to check it out? I'll get Pierman to check on that. He could even have picked up the van from some Rumspringa. Oh, we can easily check that out. I'm just kidding. Wait, don't, don't, tell, don't tell me we have IDF embedded in the Amish community. Okay. I won't tell you. See you in a few. Dr. Bruce, please. Dr. Bruce, Well, good morning, Agent Hawk. Hey, Jim. Where's the rest of the mob? Uh, not too far behind. Say, uh... You sound a lot better this morning. They've had me on some machines that's supposed to reduce swelling. I think it's worked on my vocal cords, too. Well, you sound a lot better. How do you feel? Considering the damage my body endured on the mercury, I really can't complain. So what's the latest word on the Von Longer case? (laughs) Listen to you, ready to jump back in already. I haven't heard much. I think Pierman said last night they were trying to track down a vehicle that might have been involved in a store fire. I think you need to get back there and jump in. How? Right now I'm not officially associated with any law enforcement, except the IDF, which makes it kind of hard for me to snoop around or investigate. What happened with P.I. Barnes? I'm still working on that. I uh, hope to be up and running, uh, I don't know, maybe next week. The IDF was going to help me with my initial setup, But this case, plus them chasing Kelly all over, well, that's put me on the back burner. Oh, blame it on me, will ya? Ah, not you entirely. Uh, Maybe just a little bit. Hey, sis. Hey, Daddy. Well, don't you sound much better. I was talking to your doctor, and he was telling me about the treatment to reduce your swelling. Your eyes don't look as puffy. Did they say when the bandages were coming off? Maybe tomorrow afternoon. I really don't want you guys here then. We probably won't be. What? Why? I was able to get through to Holiday this morning. He said that they need all hands on deck to track down a vehicle Von Longer and his partner are using. They want the IDF to get to it before the local LEOs. Yeah, we know all too well how things can get messed up when the locals capture your suspect. I have a feeling you're talking about me. You might make a good P.I. yet, Jim. Pyramid is setting up a transfer to the Annapolis Stip since the Roosevelt is shut down. 
That's not a problem. I can get us back home from there. Jim, not sure what you'll do. Well, you know, I can always get in a little fishing. That's not a bad idea. I can put you up for the weekend. Maybe Pierman will be able to get us a quick transfer on the Roosevelt. Well, it sounds like a great idea to me. Hey, you're not trying to get rid of us, are you? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, I guess we can take a hint. I'd rather stay. Kelly, if you want to be part of the IDF team, you'll have to obey orders. We're needed on the other side. I feel like I'm needed here. Kelly, there's nothing you can do. I'm recovering just fine. I've got really good people taking care of me. You're needed elsewhere. I'm not real happy about this. And welcome to the IDF. Did you find your quarters acceptable? Yes, thank you. Everything seems to be just fine. I've seen you found the hot beverage unit. One thing that seems to be universal in this galaxy is a hot beverage loaded with caffeine. This particular form is rather tasty. It's even better if you had the sweetener and a little milk. Milk? You added lactating fluids from mammals to your drink? Yes, and I pour it all over those toasted grains. Rogers gave them to me. It's called cereal. I'm sorry, but that's going a little too far. I'll stick with normal food, thank you. So Rogers gave them to you, huh? He brought them to Scully's bar where you met him? Of course not. Met a couple of times for lunch while our ships were being loaded at the docks. What's well, a big interest in him anyway? It's a big galaxy. I just thought it was quite a coincidence that we knew the same person. That's odd enough for one planet, but a whole galaxy full? Well, that's something else. Seems he gets around. I hear that he ran missions for the IDF in his ship, the Mercury. And? I was just wondering if that was something Boldabar-based cargo ships had to do. If you're asking me to do a work for the IDF, the answer is no. I spent most of my time, like all the other captains, avoiding them. They're not good for business. Why is that important to you? Let's just say I'm not on the best of terms with them. You're not wanted, are you? The last thing we need on the Ulysses is a fugitive. No. My father was an IDF commander. Or so I was told. He abandoned me right after I was born, then the war broke out. The IDF leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Maybe something happened in the war. Maybe he was captured or killed. Did your mother say anything? She would never talk about it. So, do you expect any delays to Titan IV? We have a clear shipping lane to the port of Manus. We should begin orbital insertion in one and a half rotational units. Does your crew need anything? No, they're fine. I noticed the older one was having difficulty breathing um, when he boarded. The air pollution's pretty bad on Titan III. It's aggravated his asthma. He'll just use oxygen to make it easier on him. Very well. If he needs inhaler medicine, our sick bay is well equipped. I need to return to the bridge. Please make yourself at home. We will, thank you. We definitely will. Most interesting. I think there's more there than she's admitting. There is much more. She seemed quite defensive when you asked about the food. Yes, who meets for lunch and brings food? I ran some security checks on her and the Ulysses before contacting her. I couldn't find any direct ties to the IDF. If there is the slightest bit of trouble... I'll handle it. Really? You? The extra guard with us is more than an extra hand. He's one of the best pilots in Titan IV. If we have to take over the ship, he can more than handle it. You are full of surprises, Lenora. Let's hope everything goes smoothly, and we don't need his services. Once we get to Titan IV, I'll have contacts there who can help me get back to Latumus. But I thought, uh, your former number two has taken over. You'll be heavily outnumbered. You speak of Zokar. I would not be going back alone. After the war, my top generals, elite forces fled to a remote area of Titan IV to evade the war crimes tribunal. They have been living there under assumed identities and await the rise of my new empire. One that will be bigger and greater than rage. I've always heard rumors of former rage officers and special forces units hiding on a distant continent. So is it true? I can take you there myself, Lenora. I will need reliable transportation. 
If you are up to the task, your family has abandoned you. We are your family now. Yes, my master. Ah, Soru. Good morning. I trust you slept well. As well as could be expected. Good morning, Sam. Did you find the floor comfortable? Yes. There's a nice spot with no soft rug on the floor. It was all tile. Most comfortable indeed. We were going down for some breakfast. Uh, would you like to join us? Yes, but I need to check in with my superiors first. I won't be long. Well, if you like this food called bacon, you might want to hurry it up. I could eat my weight in that stuff. Somehow, I'm not surprised. I'll make sure I'll save you some. Come on, Sam. Time to put your feed bag on. I'll join you shortly. Well, good morning, Agent Simon. I see you survived your first day. And night. I'm calling in my first report. Very well. Give me a moment. Penny Packer, I'd like to make this a conference call with number one. You have significant information already? I do. I'm going to need some immediate assistance. I have a solid suspect. Really? You certainly didn't waste any time. Stand by while I connect the director. Yes, Miss Penny Packer? Director, I have a conference call set up with Agent Simon for his initial report. Very well. Go ahead, Agent Simon. Director. Tony, you know you can report your findings to Penny Packer. What is so important to include me on your initial briefing? Sir, I believe I have made contact with one of the bombers yesterday evening. What makes you so certain that it was one of the bombers? The detectives here in Johannesburg have been gathering some compelling evidence. One was a set of motorcycle tracks belonging to a rare bike. Soren was able to identify it. On our way back from checking shops that deal in vintage parts, Sam, of all people, spotted the bike at a takeaway. Really? So he has turned out to be valuable? In all fairness, he was hungry and looking for a place to eat. This particular one offered American-style hamburgers, and he just happened to see the bike. We pulled in and took some photos and... Looked over the bike, but unfortunately the owner came out before I could do too much more. I am sending you photos of the plate and registration tab. That's coming through now, sir. I suppose you want us to track down the owner. Penny Packer, please take care of that. Yes, Director. Penny Packer, did you get the tracking app from Q? Yes, I also have a PC version. Please bring it up for you and the Director. I was able to plant the tracker on the bike while I was looking at it. I convinced him that I owned a vintage Royal Enfielder. I find that rather humorous. Have you ever been on a motorbike, Tony? In my youth? Luckily, I had studied up on the bike, so I was able to throw out a lot of technical mumbo-jumbo. Director, the application is now installed on our mainframe. You should see it on your monitor. Yes, well, what am I looking at here? Type in the username and password that Q supplied to you. Done. It looks like a map of Johannesburg. Do you see a small icon in yellow? Yes, and it's moving. Tony, are you looking at the app now? Well, no. I'm talking to you. Why? Based on the information you gave me on the tower location, this chap is headed right for it. Good heavens, I have a breakfast to break up. Will the team get to the tower in time? What plans have been laid by Lister once he gets to Titan IV? And will Nelson be able to find the van before the SIS? Stay tuned for the answers for these questions and more in the next episode of the Hawk Chronicles Tower Power. This is Jack Ward, and from everyone here at the Mutual Audio Network, we wish you all safety and protection during the COVID-19 outbreak. Join us as we listen and imagine, and together we'll make it through this. Please be safe.